hello guys welcome to third part of this series today i will finish the styling of the calculator let's start working at first select all the buttons and set margin 1 1 1 and set preferred width to 60 and preferred height to 50 set the v grow of grid pen to always you see the zero button consists of two columns that's why we need to set the column span to two and the preferred width to 123 now i will edit the text of the buttons i have finished the text editing let's preview the window here you see the text orientation of the text field is from left to right but we need to make it right to left so click the text field and go to property and set node orientation right to left let's again preview the window and this time it works correctly so go to file and save it and then go to netbeans you see the fxml document file uh, codes are uh, automatically generated let's run the program uh, some error has occurred the scene that i have created is not set to this window that's why i need to check the main class you see i didn't set the scene to the primary stress now i will set the scene primary step dot set scene scene let's again run the program you see here is our calculator but we need to make our calculator like this that's why we need to add some css properties to the buttons and the text field let's create a style sheet go to default package then go to cascading style sheet and give a file name I am giving my file name is calculator.css this is our css file and we need to include this file with the main class so I am going to include it theme dot get style sheet dot add calculator dot css let's code for the style sheet at first select root set background color hash three eight three eight three eight then set font size to 14 point then set the text color I mean text field is 
Бля. Let's style the text field. Dot text field. Fx font size is twenty four point. Let's style the buttons. Background. background color for all of the buttons will be yes p8 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 let's create two button classes a blue button class and a orange button class dot button blue fix black let's copy it f7 c a f c2 and text fill will be dash f8 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 now style the button orange class background color will be Orange text field will be hash f eight f eight f eight and font size will be Fifteen point. Let's run the program. You see, here is our calculator. But actually, this calculator is slightly wider than the previous one. So. Let's go to Scene Builder and set this calculator's width. So, click FXML document dot FXML and click Open. Let's select the V box and go to Layout and set preferred width to 235 let's add a style sheet to this window go to preview scene style sheet add a style sheet go to documents netbin projects and search for your project I have set my project in YouTube channel project folder and this is the calculator project. Here is the source file and here is the calculator.css file. Click open and your CSS file is included to this scene builder. Now you see those three buttons are blue colored. So select those three buttons and go to properties
here star class choose a star class i am choosing button blue you see those three buttons turn blue and those five button class will be button orange button orange let's preview the window this looks pretty good this calculator and this calculator looks really similar but you see the font is bigger than this one let's check the style sheet before that we need to save this file go to netbeans calculator.css text field properties font oh sorry i this will be font size let's run the program again this is the calculator that i have already made and now this is the calculator that i have shown you to how to make in the next uh, two or three videos i will show how to give this calculator functionality like this one 4 minus 2 is equal to 7 divided by 3 is equal to 2.3 so uh, keep watching and please don't forget to subscribe thank you